Hi, I'm Maria Fontanaza, editor of Medical Device Summit, and I'm here at our HHE Risk Assessment and Recalls Conference in Washington, D.C., and we're here with Roberta Good, president of Good Compliance International, and I just wanted to get some feedback from you on some of the key concerns or, or hot topics that you're seeing from clients recently. Yeah, Maria, thank you for asking me. You know, lately what I'm hearing a lot from my clients, I, I guess it boils down to two key areas. First of all is how they're going to interpret, how the regulatory bodies uh, in the U.S. and in Europe are going to interpret and implement the EN ISO 14971 2012, particularly, this is the risk management standard, as you know, particularly the three annexes that were released, ZA, ZB, and ZC, um, which really just align that standard with the medical device directive, and yet the requirements to now have risk, risk be as low as possible rather than as low as reasonably practicable. Um, and, and some of the requirements um, that were removed, for example, can no longer use labeling as a risk mitigation. You can't. Re you can. You must still have that labeling there, but can't use it to reduce the risk. Um, these are things that our industry is really struggling with. What are the expectations of the notified bodies, the competent authorities, and how is FDA implementing this on the U.S. side as well? Although they don't really call out the standard as a guidance, there's still an expectation for risk controls. And Maria, the other thing I hear a lot about is supplier controls. Um, going back to Europe for just a moment, um, the recent, um, I guess, announcement that European Union's competent authorities, notified bodies, will be implementing these unannounced audits, including of our suppliers, which we have, you know, control, quote unquote, of, but only at arm's length, is really, these are unannounced audits that suppliers may not be ready for. Um, I'm sure you've heard that companies, medical device manufacturing companies, struggle with ensuring that their contract manufacturers, their suppliers, have adequately validated the processes that they're using to manufacture components, um, that they are up to date on their supplier corrective actions, even that the audits of the suppliers um, by, you know, by the medical device manufacturers are up to date. Measurement systems analysis, another concern, you know, are they using prints that are fully up to date with the appropriate guard banding? Um, gosh, even issues related to REACH and Rojas and some of the um, material characterization requirements that are in the industry now. These are all things that device manufacturers are really struggling with with their supplier controls today.